is now in session. Kimberly Blade versus Michael Blade. For the record, this matter is before the court for pretrial conference. The same is being conducted via Zoom. Are you Kimberly Blade? I am Kimberly Blade. Good afternoon, and uh, sir, you are Michael Anthony Blade. Is that correct? The beneficiary, and I thought it was the person so that it. I'm sorry. The beneficiary and not the artificial person, sir. Okay. Um, I don't know what you mean by that. What, what is it? What's your name? I'm the beneficiary, Michael, of the Blade right. family. I understand. You're the, benef you're the beneficiary of Michael Blade, but what is your name? Your Honor, I'm the beneficiary of the estate, Michael I Anthony Blade. So is Michael, is he deceased or are you his guardian or what? Uh, for Michael Anthony Blade, the uh, artificial person, I am the agent. I don't understand you, sir. In any event, uh, Miss Blade, do you recognize the person on the, on the screen? I do. Is that your husband, Michael Blade? Yes. Okay, all right. Uh, the the uh, court tried to call you this morning, Ms. Blade, but the phone number you provided on your summons was an invalid phone number. It was, a, it was not a right phone number. We called you at seven. That's the number you had. And uh, first, uh, that's I've never not given your phone that number. number. That's not my number, and I've never given that number. No, I that's the phone I, number we had for, for Kimberly Blade. Miss Kimberly Blade, we attempted to call you this morning, and uh, your phone number that you referenced on your summons that you prepared is wrong. Um, in any event, the court cannot enter the judgment as presented. It's got all kinds of red stamps on it, and it's got things crossed out. And the, the court, uh, the reason the court was calling you, if you could come down this afternoon, we can get the two of you divorced if you want to get divorced. And we can give you another form, and I can explain to you, walk you through it. Um, for example, someone uh, said that the, um, there's a paragraph about the domicile of the child should not be moved to the state of Michigan without the consent of the, the it's got to be the consent of the court. And Mr. Blade, you're correct. If she wants to move, she's got to seek the permission of the court. She must notify you in advance. So you'll be no, no, aware of all that. So I want to walk through these provisions with you. You've crossed some things out, which are simply not uh, acceptable under the law. So um, both of you live locally. Excuse me, sir. Would you mind repeating that, sir? And you're best coming down here. This, there's all kinds of red stamps in here. It says non-assumption. I don't know what that means, but it's all over the page. The court cannot sign this judgment. So uh, what the court would like to do is set up time. We can personally come down here and I can, I can walk you through. We can, we can prepare a clean judgment. For example, somebody's crossed out, for example, it's a paragraph about real estate. And someone says, does not apply. Well, there are two choices. Either you own real estate and you divide it or there's not real estate. So you need to address that. The court will not enter the judgment without these provisions being addressed. They're required in any judgment of divorce. We, we must divide pension benefits. If you each keep your own, that's fine. If there are none, we need to note that. So this judgment is not acceptable. We can't get divorced today. So, Miss Blade, you live in Inkster, correct? That's correct. How are you doing? Um, is there a time you can both come in, Percy, on Monday? And we can, uh, if, you, if you want to get divorced, even separated since the last four years, let's not drag us out any longer. Um, yes, that's fine. Okay. Can you come down, uh, uh, Mr. Beneficiary? Can you come down also uh, personally? Your Honor. Well, is simply a divorce. That's all we need. Uh, your jurisdiction. That's correct. The court will not sign this judgment of divorce that's been presented. I don't know who made all these red stamps. There are things crossed out. I can walk walk this through with both of you, uh, but you need both of both of you to sign to prove the judgment. Sir, so I'm, the, I'm suggesting the easiest way for this to happen is both of you come down here personally. If you come down on Monday, we can get you divorced on Monday. Sir, anything I sign will have stamps. Okay. Well. Um, I, I don't know what the stamps mean. Non stamps, it means that I do not buy a bill for the state enterprise. I, I, I sir, you're, you're, you're making no sense. Uh, if you want to put one stamp, but you've got, you got a dozen stamps all over this, unacceptable. I, so, sir, what time do you want to come down on Monday? That contract do that, that I do not agree with, and those are the terms of the contract in which I, all right. All right, Miss Blade, I, you need to hire an attorney then. You need to hire an attorney, Mr. Blade. I, I don't know. I don't know if he's got, uh, I, I don't know if he has some uh, uh, incapacities. 
But he's not nope, talking right, common sense. Right. I don't know what you need in order to get divorced. So can you both come down on Monday or no? Simple question. I can. I can have work Monday. I've taken okay. off work to handle this matter. Well, can you drive down right now down to Monroe? Yes, no, I, I can. I thought you said you took off work today, Mr. Blade. Yes, sir. You live in Newport. You're probably, what, 10 minutes away? I no longer live in Newport, sir. All right. Um, all right, so uh, perhaps the court could take some brief testimony. There's been a breakdown. There are, uh, there's only uh, that there's three minor children. I can take a brief testimony. I can preserve everything, but I can't get you divorced until we sign the written judgment. So can you both please raise your right hand to be sworn? Do you both solemnly swear or affirm that the testimony you're about to give in this matter will be the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so up you God? I do. Miss Blade? You need to unmute yourself. Cannot hear you, Miss Blade. I do. Okay. All right. To start with you, Miss Blade, can you please state your name and current address for the record? My name is Miss Blade, Kimberly. Kimberly Blade. Can you please state your name and current address for the record? You need to unmute yourself. Inkster, Michigan, 48141. Thank you. Miss Blade, is it true that you filed the complaint for divorce with this court on about May 4th, 2023? Yes. Is it further true that on the date you signed that complaint that you lived in the county Monroe for 10 days in the state of Michigan at least six months prior to filing? Can you repeat that? Is it true that on the date you filed that complaint, which was May 4th, that you lived in the county Monroe for at least 10 days in the state of Michigan at least six months? Yes. Can I? Uh, I didn't, yeah, I didn't stay in, uh, county, that Monroe County. I understand Wayne. you didn't stay there. Did you live in Monroe uh -huh. County 10 days before filing this? For example, did you live in Monroe County the last week of April of this year? Uh, no. Well, you may need to refile in Wayne County then. You live in Inkster, Wayne County. You need to file in the county in which you reside. Yes. I did. I went through a, um... This agency, um, a legal Zoom divorce, and they did it that way because um, Michael was in the middle. All right. Okay, we can uh, we can establish jurisdiction with Michael. No, no, not this. No. We'll address that. And Mrs. Blade, uh, is it true that you married uh, Michael Blade on May second, two thousand sixteen? You separated in September of twenty twenty. Yes. Is it true there's been a breakdown of your marriage relationship? Yes. Have the object to match when he been destroyed? Yes. Is there any chance of reconciliation? No. Is it true there are three children born of the marriage, namely Boy Blade, Kingston Blade, and Killian Blade? Yes. Uh, were there any, any other children born or adopted during your marriage? No. Are you currently pregnant? No. Um, okay, sir, can you, uh, uh, Mr. Blade? Did you live in the county of Monroe State Michigan for in late April of 2023? I lived in the domicile of the United States of America Republic, sir. Okay. Well, you have to, it was it was in Monroe County, Michigan. The domicile of the United States of America Republic. All right. All right. The court's not going to play games. The court's going to dismiss this complaint for lack of jurisdiction, Ms. Blade. Mr. Blade will not acknowledge he lived in Monroe County, State of Michigan. So I'm going to dismiss this complaint for lack of jurisdiction. You need to refile in Wayne County. And uh, I'm sorry. And if, if Mr. Blade won't cooperate with you, he's not going to cooperate with the court. I'm not going to play games. The court will dismiss this complaint. Now we'll conclude the matter. You can all zoom out. We'll send you both a copy of the dismissal. And Mr. Blade, we have your address of 8565 Gidget Court, Newport. That's where we're going to send the order of dismissal. All right, you can both zoom out. Have a good rest of the day. You're still married.